Okay, let's unbox the package because I have nothing else to do right now. I mean, I do have, but procrastination. Oh. Oh, there are two books actually. Okay, let's see. Okay, so the first book is The Art of War by Sun Tzu. I guess. I hope I'm. I know. I guess I'm pronouncing it wrong, but. The first book is The Art of War by Sun Tzu. I have no idea what this book is about. And the second one is Socrates' biography. Yeah, it's about this man's life. I mean, obviously, it's written biography, so what do I expect? So, yeah, that's it. Those are the two books. I'll show you the book I'm currently reading. Let me fix this. So I'll show you the book I'm currently reading. The book I'm currently reading is this. The Almanac of... (coughs) I'm sick. The Almanac of Naval Ravikant. It's a good book. It talks about the literally the steps to be good at something and do what you love to do and make or make and make wealth by doing that but of all the books i've read most of them like the more the good ones most of them the basic gist of the book is to find what you love to do. like what's that simple thing that you are good at doing and you can do better than anyone else so no matter how many books i read i still have to find out what i'm good at so, i'm mediocre at most of the things so yeah, it all goes to that starting point. That what is it that you want to do? Well, and I think sometimes it's not that you won't be tired from doing it. It's not that you'll be exhausted. But there's a thin line to differentiate between, you know, exhaustion and not loving the thing we are working at so much. Like, are we tired of doing what we love so we can take a break and take a break and go and. Uh, we can take a break and again get back at what we love doing or is it that we don't like doing it from the start and we just went with it to the flow because it pays well so yeah that's kind of hard i'm not i'm not reaching that stage yet also so find out that's it